Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prachapati and in this video, I will be talking about the key vault feature or key vault resource of Azure. Okay, so moving forward, I will like, I would like to introduce my uh, YouTube channel that is Geek Coders and here I used to, I used to upload videos on PySpark, Spark, uh, Azure, Python, SQL and so on. If you are interested, you can go and watch these videos. Okay, you can see I have created this playlist over here. And if you like it and if you love it, then you can share with your friends so that it will get benefited uh, to your friends also. And yeah, so moving forward, I will go to the portal, portal.ajo.com, and uh, I will search here keyword. So, what does it do in Azure? So, basically, we use our keyword to uh, you know to save our users id and a password or we can say keys and password in a secret way so if i open this this is the key vault okay and it is used to store keys and the secret securely in azure environment so if i open this paint and if i draw one let's say this is this is the this is the key vault okay this is my key vault one example this is the key vault and here we have id we have id we have password okay sorry my drawing is very bad this is password now we have adf We have ADB that is Azure Data Factory. Sorry, Azure Data Bricks. ADB. ADB. Or else, what we have? We have Power Apps. Sorry, we have Logic App for an example. logic app and so on we have multiple resources i cannot uh, you know write down every process so these are the basic one and so on in adf we use some you know we use uh, id password to connect with us uh, with the source system or the sync system right in adb also uh, sometime we have to uh, take the data from uh, ADLS or the, or the blob, then we have to pass the ID and password. Logic app also sometimes we use to pass ID password. I'm not sure about logic app, but yeah, we used to do so. So, in order to write down password directly in the ADF, for an example, my user is uh, uh, ABC and my password is ABC. So, in order to you know write down in ADF itself, what we will do rather than what we will do. We will take this ID and password in the key vault from the key vault to have it, I mean, safely. It's because, see, we should not expose our ID and password in Azure environment, even in any environment. Okay, we should hide it. Always we should hide it. If you are working in an IT service or you know if, if you're working in software development thing software engineer thing then you should not expose your password at least ID okay we can expose but it is not recommended but we can expose but I but password should we should not expose anywhere so that's why what we what we do we take the password and the ID from the keyboard which is uh, which is secure which is securely which which is which is very secure okay so let's see how does how we will make it so if i go to here and right now we do not have any keyboard so if i click on this create button it it is azure for student subscription and now we i have to choose the resource group that is key coders which i created in the first video and here i have to pass the keyboard name so same i will write keyword 
the vault Greek coders okay this is east us okay and standard soft delete enable did days to retain deleted vault 90 okay for now i am choosing first option and i do review plus create option It's done. Click on Review Plus Create. So it will deploy the Key Vault in the uh, cloud uh, in some seconds. So, okay. Let it be. If I go to this Key Vault, it's doing. Go back to this and go to Key Vault option over again and just do a refresh. Check the status from here. Okay, let it be. It's done. Refresh it. Again, refresh. No, it did not come. Why? It's came here. Okay. So if I open this key vault, then you can see here we have a key, secret, certificate, properties, access policy, and so on. So first we will see what is keys and uh, secrets. Okay. So if I go to the secrets, if I go to this plus option, you can see we have a option, upload option, manual or certificate. So I will write a manual and i can pass here i can pass here the name of my secret i mean the id so what we what i can do i can um, i mean uh, what you can do i can pass here uh, let's say simple id okay and the secret is for example i will write uh, a b c d something like that and you can set the activation date from today okay and expiry date no for now enable zero okay create it it is done and if you click on this id then you can see we have a version so, so you can overwrite or you can not overwrite you can add a new secret over here okay and just click on this create button now you can see two versions that's the older version and the current version over here okay like likewise you can get multiple secrets okay now suppose there's a scenario that you have to create a link service okay you have to create a link service uh, in 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 azure data factory and then what you have to do you have to you have to take id and password from the keyboard right so how we will do it so if if i go to this manage option over here you can see a link service right firstly i will create a link service of keyboard so if i go to this plus option you can see we have a keyboard option over here and if I do hide and here now you can see I will remove this one and we can type it down from two methods whether from Azure subscription enter manually I will choose enter manually I will talk I will talk about this in a future why I have chosen enter manually option over here so I have to pass here the link of the key vault so if I go back to this and go to this property option then you can find out the link okay go back here paste it over here and test connection it got succeeded okay uh, and then create it i have to publish it first but 
I don't think so. It will publish. Let's see. Okay, it published. Okay, so that is done. Keyword is done. Now, I want to show you see, the method is wrong uh, since we do not have a, a DLSL source system right now. So I I want to uh, show you how can we retrieve the thing from the keyword. Okay, so in order to do that, I will go to this uh, link service option again, and if I choose uh, Gen two, okay. Here we have to pass something something skip for this and uh, tooling service okay not this sorry not this if i choose uh sql azure sql database hey here you can see option username and a password so username is means you know i can directly write abcd and here also i can write abcd but it is not feasible right anyone maybe anyone can come and see the username and password and then he can do anything so what we will do we will choose this azure keyword option over here since i have created a link service of azure keyword it will pop up this azure keyword uh, thing and then automatically it will fetch the okay right now what is showing it is showing the user group application they did this that's not secret list permission okay so go back to this keyword option over here and go, you can see this access policy option okay right now i have see one minute if i go back right now you cannot see the permission you you cannot see that we can we do not have a permission on the adf to see the to retrieve the id and password or we can see to retrieve the secrets so in order to do that i will go to this plus add access policy and choose keys and secret because since i do not have cert certificate so you can choose certificate this option also either this and so on so right now i have only secrets so i will choose secrets and uh, select all not select all i have to just get list uh, okay go to the select principle and i have to type my adf name or the spn of the adf so i will write adf decoders like this add it's added go back to adf again refresh it okay again it is showing it should not now at least okay let me do one thing let me add a i did not save it sorry Yeah, now we can retrieve, we can see the ID and then we can retrieve the secret from here. So always choose the latest version, right? It would be great. And then always encrypted. And then we, since, we, since I haven't uh, I haven't given this as a subscription server name in detail, so that's why I cannot create a I cannot create this link service right now. So I in order to just show show you how does this Azure Key Vault work. So I did it. Okay, moving forward, I will tell you how can we create this, this link service from the Key Vault properly, right? So I put this cancel button, discard changes, and that is. You know, like likewise, we can uh, add our keys, and likewise, we can add our certificate, and and so on. So this is 
the I access control IEM. So if I click on this uh, button, we can see how many uh, person have the access and how many aspirin have the access on this keyword. So if I check my access, if, if you want to check my access, then you can see view my access button and then you can see I have a role assigned service administrator. I am an admin. Okay. And then has full access to all the resources and subscription. So what if, if, if you know any other uh, person also, or you, you, to, you teammate wants to have access on this, uh, on this keyword. So what you will do, you will go to this, uh, add option and then add a role assignment. You can search for the role contributor. Okay. Or reader. If he, if, if someone wants to, uh, you know, if someone wants to only read, then he, you can give the read, uh, read option over here. If someone want to contribute, if your teammate also want to work on it, then you can give the contributor access and then you can search for a name. For example, right now I'm giving my name, but it will not. Okay. I will search for role contributor. Okay. And then if I go to this option members, then you can choose members since I am only the person. So select me and okay. Review and assign. That's it. Now, again, if I go to this view my access option over here, then you can see I have two, uh, I have two uh, roles over here. So if I again go to my view option over here, then I have a contributor, a contributor access, as well as I have the service administration access also. Okay, so I hope you have uh, uh, got, you have understood what I tried to convey to you. Okay, so this is, this is set, this is all set about the keyword. And moving forward, I will be talking more about this ADF tool and about the link service and data set and so on. So yeah, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the video.